Black excellence is a mindset, and the original Tuskegee Airmen had that mindset. They decided to pursue their dreams as being military pilots despite segregation. They fought for America even though they didn't have equal rights. It paved the way for our new generation of black individuals so we can create and impact the world as we know it today. I have a Tuskegee Airmen because they look like me. Without them, I wouldn't have the career I have now as a pilot. I wouldn't have this amazing future. The Tuskegee Airmen are and will always be the best of us. Wow, welcome back to GMA. Pretty cool watching those group of GMA viewers honoring the Tuskegee Airmen as we celebrate Black History Month. And Robin, obviously, we know this is a subject very near and dear to your heart. It certainly is. I've shared with you many times that my beloved father, Colonel Lawrence E. Roberts, was a Tuskegee Airman. And to celebrate these courageous men, my company, Rock and Robin Productions, along with the History Channel, we're going to bring you the Tuskegee Airmen Legacy of Courage about the first black U.S. military pilots and their fight to serve despite so many odds. When you talk about Tuskegee Airmen, when you think about the barriers that they faced as the first African-American aviators of the United States Armed Forces during segregation, right? This is during World War II, at a time where society were deeming these folks based upon the color of their skin as incompetent inept and inferior. What they were able to display both in and outside of the military was black excellence. Some 60 years after they fought so hard to fight for their country, the achievements and influence of the Tuskegee Airmen are widely recognized at last. They paved the way for people in my generation to run for public office uh, and to carry the torch for what they were able to do uh, decades ago. To be able to look at the Tuskegee Airmen and see the shoulders that we stand on, it's necessary for our generation to see that so we know exactly where we have to go. My great grand uncle was a Tuskegee Airman, so I had men in my life that I can actually look toward that were in my lineage that I'm like, oh snap, like you guys are the reason why I'm able to do the things I'm doing today. Mm -hmm. Certainly that's one way to look at it, but certainly what was accomplished uh, can fit into that story. But four decades after determined young cadets like my dad and Charles McGee first arrived at Tuskegee, issues the airmen sought to address remain. In the spring and summer of 2020, the fight for racial justice waged so many times before by civil rights leaders, by generations of Americans of color, by allies, and by the Tuskegee Airmen, once again took to America's streets, prompted by the murder of George Floyd. It goes from generation to generation, but you need that young fire to help push us to where we need to go. The struggle of those who come before us set the tone for where we're currently sitting. It needs to always be clear that there's been a continuation of the work. Seeing the great sacrifice that the Tuskegee Airmen made is what sort of gave me inspiration. That inspiration, the fuel for generations of Black Americans, was widely recognized in 2007 when more than 300 of the original Tuskegee Airmen received the Congressional Gold Medal from President George W. Bush. The Tuskegee Airmen helped win a war, and you helped change our nation for the better. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I never thought I'd worry about my, my baby girl anymore, but I... Oh, no need to worry. Thank you very much. Yes, sir, Thank my pleasure. Thank you. What's the wrong stuff? Oh, so good. Huh? <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Wow. Oh, My man, father passed away in 2004. Awesome. He didn't get to witness the airmen receiving such recognition, but his legacy, like that of all the Tuskegee airmen, is enduring. It is a legacy of determination, pride, and courage. My favorite photo with my mom, because we don't talk about the spouses, the mechanics, the navigators, all of them were a part of the Tuskegee Airmen, and they were a catalyst. They really were a catalyst for a change, 
that is still being felt, in inspiring a whole new generation of activists, leaders to fight for social justice. The film was directed by Kirk Frazier. He is a dynamic young black documentarian who, like so many, sees the airmen as, as trailblazers in the continued fight for social justice. Yeah, they are pa they paved the way, and the, and the way is still being paved right now. A Tuskegee Airmen Legacy of Courage airs tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern and Pacific on the History Channel. And I know, Robin, uh, I mean, it's... I can't I, talk I, anymore. I'm, I know, I'm I know. Back. I feel bad because I can't even uh, imagine what uh, that feels like to watch that on national television, to see your father honored the way he should be. And, and he didn't live long enough to see just it continue. But the, the, the beauty of it, he didn't care. He didn't care about right. the glory. Right. He didn't. Yeah. And the airmen, they were just, they just wanted to fight for this country. He was 19 years old. When he headed down on a segregated train to Tuskegee, Alabama. Uh, I was born in Tuskegee. Not when he was an airman, when he came back later <laughs> uh, as an ROTC instructor. But it's, this is my love letter to him and all that were involved in the Tuskegee. And your siblings are a part of it as well, oh, right? Oh, On Facebook later? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm the baby of four. There's the four of us. And so we had a special conversation about our dad and the legacy of the Tuskegee Airmen. I've become two years old again when I'm with my older siblings. Family dynamics, they never change. But you catch that right now on my Facebook page. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.